Hello guys, Natural Freaks here. My name is Eric. As you can see, we have two training videos. Today, in this video, we want to explain about micronutrients. As you already know, 80% is diet and 20% is training. Wow! That's bullshit. It's 100% training and 100% diet. So if you join me, I'm going to explain you everything on micronutrients and how you can make your own diet. So follow me. Yo guys, so calculating your macros, it's really simple. Uh, people think that uh, to make your own diet is like, really hard, but after this video, you're going to learn how to make your own diet. So if you follow me first, I'm going to explain you what are micronutrients. So, let's start off. Micronutrients. What are micronutrients? Micronutrients are nutrients that supplies the largest amount of energy for the organism. The principle of micronutrients are protein, carbs, and fats. Micronutrients, on the other hand, are like vitamins and minerals. Uh, these the body needs, but they don't, they don't supply energy. So we're going to start off with protein. Uh, what are proteins? Uh, proteins are the building blocks of life, which are formed by a chain of amino acids. Uh, it can be found in like uh, beef, fish, eggs, and also it can be found in plant sources like grain, beans and soy. It is recommended that you take around uh, 1 to 1 1.5 grams uh, of proteins per body weight. Later on I'm gonna make an example with my own weight and I'm gonna use 1.5 as a reference. This is good to help build your muscles and to maximize your growth. Okay now let's go with carbs. Carbs are the main source of energy for the body. Uh, the body digests uh, carbs and it changes into glucose, which is blood sugar. And the muscle stores uh, this blood sugar as glycogen. And there are two types of carbs, uh, simple carbs and complex carbs. The best way to distinguish these two is simple. Think of it as anything a kid would crave or what you actually crave, like sugar, milk, fruit. Uh, complex carbs, on the other hand, are carbs such as grains, beans. Uh, this, uh, the body actually takes a little longer to digest, so it's like a slow release of energy. Now let's go with fats. Fats are the major source of energy and are important to increase the testosterone level. Uh, you wanna include in your diet good fat. Uh, so good fats can be like olive oil and coconut oil. Okay guys, so I will explain you what are micronutrients and what are good nutrients you can take and include in your diet. Uh, right now I'm going to explain you how you can make your own diet. I'm going to use my weight as an example, so as you're watching the video you can get a piece of paper and a pen and you can make your own diet. Okay, so come here. Uh, one gram of protein, it has four calories. One gram of carbs, it has also four calories. And one gram of fat, it has nine calories. On this diet, I'm gonna use my weight in pounds. So currently, I'm weighing 175 pounds. So the first thing you wanna know is how many calories you wanna eat per day. So a good reference is multiply your your body weight in pounds by 15. So if I get my calculator right here and I multiply 175 times 15. It's going to give me a total of 2,625 calories. So this is the amount of calories I'm going to eat per day. So now you want to break it down, these calories, and you want to find out how many proteins, how many carbs, and how many fats you have to eat per day. So let's start off with protein. So again, you take your weight in pounds. I'm going to multiply by 1.5 in my case, but it's recommended to multiply between 1 or 1.5 per body weight in pounds. So you can get the amount of proteins that, you can, that you're going to eat per day in grams. And as I mentioned before, you already know that, four that one gram of protein has four calories. So if I multiply this by four, it gives me a total of 1,050. So I already know that from proteins, 1,050 calories are going to come from proteins. Okay, what's next? Next I'm going to talk about fats. It is recommended that from your daily calories, you take around 20% of, of fat from, from this amount of calories. So if I take the total calories and I multiply by 20%, it's 
it's gonna give me 625 calories I'm sorry 525 calories so 525 calories are gonna come from fats and you already know that gra one gram of fat has 9 calories so if I divide this by 9 <clears throat> I'm gonna get how many ca how many grams of fat I'm gonna eat per day I'm gonna run it to 60 in this case just to make it easier last but not least I'm gonna talk about carbs so you already have 1050 right here and 525 calories which give you a total of 1575 calories and you know that your daily intake is 2625 calories so if I subtract these two I'm gonna know how many calories I have to eat for carbs so these are calories I'm gonna eat for carbs and you already know that one gram of carbs is four calories so if I divide this by four I'm gonna get 262.5 grams of carbs so to break it down this diet has 265 262.5 grams of protein 262.5 grams of carbs and 60 grams of fat which is also called a 40 40 20 what this 40 40 20 means it means that from your daily calories 40 percent is going to come from proteins 40 percent is going to come from carbs and 20 percent is going to come from fat okay guys uh, this is actually just a baseline uh, it's just an example of how you can set your own diet but it's not like 100 percent accurate what I would recommend you to do is uh, wait yourself uh, let's say on a Monday after you, when you wake up after you go to the bathroom and record everything you eat there's are different programs online or on cell phones such as like my fitness pal you can you can uh, plug the food in the amount of uh, how much it weighs and gonna spit you out like the proteins the carbs the fats the fiber sodium everything so track your everything you eat in a week and wait yourself the next Monday and see whether you gain or lost pounds and depending on whether you gain or lost pounds you you already know uh, how many calories you eat that entire week and using that you can trace your own diet. Uh, in future videos actually we want to explain you like how you can manipulate your diet so you can gain, maintain or lose weight depending on your goals. Also we're going to explain you uh, how to calculate the macros on each food like weighting them like uh, chicken for example like raw and then versus cooked and also we're going to explain about like insulin spike and also we're going to explain you about uh, our supplements that we take. So. I would recommend you to tune in and subscribe so you can watch our future videos. And if you have any question, uh, just leave your comment below and we'll answer as soon as we can. Thank you.